I think that if you're a child and you're lucky enough to start with a good pony, it gives you the roots for the rest of your career. And the pony is not just your, you know, it's not just for competition. He becomes your friend. He becomes your ally. The children probably, I think, tell them their deepest, darkest secrets. Corey Collard was lucky enough to get a pony at the age of seven. Luckier still that the pony's name was Three's a Crowd. Well, he started showing almost right away. I think, I think maybe around Richmond Hill Horse Show might have been his first uh, A Horse Show. Uh, and he just, he just marched around and took great care of uh, Corey, who was really tiny at the time. He was cute and he was white, which was uh, not great for early mornings when you had to bath him all the time. Great big eyes and a wonderful expression. Wonderful jumper, just, you know, 10 out of 10 jumper. For all young riders in Southern Ontario, the Royal Winter Fair is the crown jewel. For Three's a Crowd and Corey Collard, it became their second home. He was champion at the Royal Winter Fair so many times I have lost count. He, he just walked in the ring and he just knew. It, he just he grabbed your eye every time. My sister Corey was very good at um, money management and she was quite young she was maybe seven or eight and my parents had given her about fifty dollars to start her off in the year so she used her fifty dollars to make entries at the first horse show and by the end of the horse show she tripled her money and they never had to give her money again for her bank account three is a crowd took corey collard on the ride of her life giving her a childhood full of memories there were trophies and ribbons and just like life, the occasional dose of reality. When um, Corey was getting a little bit bigger for him, he suffered a life or a career ending injury and we shipped him off to Guelph University and he had a split tendon operation, which a lot of times and back then ended animals' careers. Fortunately, Three's a Crowd survived his injuries, and one of Canada's greatest ponies ever was living out his days on the Collard Farm. That is, until Corey's sister, Kathy, needed a pony for her daughter, Ryan. It was very difficult to compete against the medium ponies at this point, and we were always at Craig Collins from EMG to please split the small ponies. So Craig said, get me six small ponies, and I will split the smalls from the medium. So we kind of looked around and there was Three's a Crowd in the field. Incredibly, nine years after Three's a Crowd was injured, his comeback gave Ryan a chance to feel the same magic her Aunt Cory experienced. And while the second time around was much shorter, this time, the great white pony retired on his own terms. For a pony to come back out, and now the competition is even harder, and he's older, and it is harder, and he still won. My greatest memory was the last class he ever showed in, and Three's a Crowd showed with Ryan at the age of seven, and when he went around the ring, I had tears in my eyes because he went as well as he had ever gone years and years before with Corey, and he actually did win the last class he showed in. Today, Three's a Crowd's legacy lives on every day in both Ryan and Corey. If a pony is a good pony, it makes you courageous and brave for the horses that you have to ride later on. And I know Tenby was that way. Watching Corey ride now and you know, knowing how much he uh, had influence on developing her riding, he gave her a lot of confidence. And you know, see her win, see her win now, it's just, you know, I'm sure it has a lot to do with him.